free agents Manny Machado and Bryce Harper still are looking for their big paydays, but Yankees ace Luis Severino and Phillies ace Aaron Nola weren't willing to roll the dice. Both pitchers avoided arbitration this week by signing four-year contracts with club options for the fifth year. Here are the details of the contracts, per ESPN's Jeff Passan. Luis Severino 2019, $4 million, $2 million bonus 2020, $10 million 2021, $10.25 million 2022, $11 million 2023, club option for $15 million with $2.75 million buyout total max value, 5 years, $52.50 million. Athletics Ken Rosenthal reports the deal covers all four of Severino's arbitration years. The option year in 2023 would cover Severino's first year of free agency. Get tickets to see the 2019 Yankees, Stub Hub and Ticketmaster. Buy Yankees gear, Fanatics.com and Dick's Sporting Goods. Aaron Nola 2019, $4 million, $2 million bonus 2020, $8 million 2021, $11.75 million 2022, $15 million 2023, club option for $16 million with $4.25 million buyout total max value, 5 years, $56.75 million SBN's Jeff Passan reports Nola's deal could cover his first two years of free agency if the Phillies use their option. On paper, the contracts for both right-handers appear to be quite similar. And when looking at their career stats, you can see why. Luis Severino age, 24 seasons, 4 WL, 41 to 25 in 96 games, 85 starts, air up 3.51 innings pitched, 518.0 strikeouts, 572 all-star appearances, 2, 2017, 2018, best Cy Young voting, 3rd in 2017, 9th in 2018 postseason pitching, 6 starts, 1 to 2, 6.26 air up 21 strikeouts in 23.0 innings pitch at latest on Manny Machado Aaron Knowledge, 25 seasons, 4 WL, WL, 41 to 28 and 93 games, all starts, air up 3.35 innings pitched, 569.0 strikeouts, 597 all star appearances, 1, 2018, best Cy Young voting, 3rd in 2018 postseason pitching, not a bottom line, if both players continue their career trajectories, the Yankees and Phillies will have found themselves bargain deals for top flight pitchers. However, both players are set up for another payday by hitting free agency in the prime of their careers. Severino would be 29 after his deal if the Yankees exercised their option, while Nola would be 30 if the Phillies exercised their option. Here are three fear factors driving players like Nola and Severino to agree to deals now which buy out future years in free agency. 1. The Athletics' Ken Rosenthal says a potential work stoppage in 2021 plays into decision-making. ESPN's Buster Olney expanded on the idea of contract negotiations being impacted by the early talk of looming labor strike. Some players are listening closely to union chief Tony Clark when he suggests they should save their money. And some may be taking it a step further, and out of that concern, maybe you can call it fear, they might be looking to make as much money as possible, as soon as possible, and in the eyes of some agents, taking deals that don't reflect their actual market value. Point two. Rosenthal explains how the potential for injury can play a role in contract negotiations. All players who receive long-term offers during their arbitration years must perform a risk analysis, weighing a life-changing guarantee against the upside of going year-to-year -year and becoming a free agent sooner. For pitchers especially, long-term security is tempting. While Nola threw a career-high 212 and a third innings last season, he missed the final two months of 2016 with a strained right elbow, and he knows he could be one pitch away from a more serious injury. Severino landed on the DL in 2016 with a tricep strain. Point three. Rosenthal says agents are afraid, too. One and spoken element of these extensions, agents fear losing players with rising salaries to other agents. Some say union needs to implement stronger protections against client stealing. Would be in union's interest if it perceives some of these deals as too club friendly. Mike Rosenstein may be reached at mrosenstein at newadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Rosenstein73. 
Find NJ.com on Facebook.